Museum of Vaza is uh, a museum, the museum dedicated uh, to the one ship and all the things which are connected with it. So uh, here is Stockholm, here is uh, Gamla Stan, historical center of uh, Stockholm. Here is uh, Nordic Museum, big uh, building, and uh, beside him it's uh, Vaza Museum. Uh, Vaza, uh, this is uh, the ship, warship, Swedish warship launched in summer 1628. Uh, uh, the ship uh, uh, of the land got its name in honor of the Vaza dynasty of the Swedish king that reigned at that time. So uh, this uh, initially this uh, ship was delivered here and lately uh, the building, the walls and the roof were erected around it. So uh, the length uh, of the Vaza uh, is around uh, 68-9 meter and fits around 12 meter and uh, with uh, 62, uh, 64 cannons. So, uh, King Gustav in the first quarter of the 17th century, uh, he sought to control the Baltic Sea and this is why uh, he gave an order to design and build up so heavy, at the time, so heavy warship, yeah. And as we see uh, by this woodworks, it should be not only a heavy uh, battleship, but also very luxurious. And it had to be flagship of the Royal Fleet. In 1627, the designer, uh, the main designer of the, this uh, ship, uh, Hendrik Herbertson, unexpectedly died and uh, the building uh, was uh, picked up by another person, Hein Jakobson, uh, and he uh, launched the ship in uh, 1627. Uh, 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 and at the beginning of 1628 everything was ready and uh, the king uh, gave permission uh, that the ship should uh, perform its first route, its first voyage. So uh, the ship uh, moved maybe a little bit more than 1,300 meters from the Stockholm Harbor and uh, then due to heavy uh, backside wind <laughs> uh, he uh, laid aside uh, to the left side yes and the water uh, the water gushed through the open uh, through the open cannon ports, and during some minutes uh, the ships uh, sink. So uh, uh, help uh, quickly arrived, but anyway, uh, around uh, from 50 to 400 people uh, died along this Vaza. So. By the way, uh, this is uh, to manipulate with the ship, <laughs> left side, right side, a special device. So, of course, uh, there was special investigation uh, to clear why it happened, why new ship sink, but because of uh, head or main designer died one year before. And another reason that also King uh, actively participated in the design of this building and nobody wanted to blame King, <laughs> that it was also partially his mistake. So finally nobody was punished. Uh, in the museum also, as you see, there is a model of ship, what was inside and you can understand. <laughs> Uh, for example, instead of water, uh, they transported beer, yeah, because water went wrong very quickly and a lot of alive animals, because they don't, didn't have fridges at that time. Here is a model uh, how it uh, originally looked like at that time, uh, with color, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was very luxury ship. And uh, by the way, uh, many scientists say that uh, the main uh, reason why the ship uh, sank that it was a very big uh, mistake in design. 
that uh, the gravity center was too high and uh, because of this the ship itself was not very stable uh, but anyway uh, we have what we have uh, so uh, the ship itself uh, was on the bottom of the sea during 333 years and because uh, the water in this area was partially salt yeah, and the bacteria uh, which usually uh, lives in the salted waters <laughs> here uh, they uh, don't uh, live so they, uh, these bacteria didn't damage uh, the body of the ship so uh, there is some layout uh, how this ship uh, was er erected picture uh, how it looked like during his first and the last voyage <laughs> yeah and, uh, the star it's a correct place and there's also the layout in the museum uh, how the, the position of the ship before it sinks down yeah. uh, very interesting some uh, uh, you know uh, display uh, how they, uh, they, they delivered the ship in 1961. Initially they dig up some tunnels and push through some ropes. Then they uh, lift a little bit and in this lifted a little bit and this, this position it stayed for one half years when they uh, dig up, uh, uh, sorry, uh, put away uh, extra set. This is a photo of one, uh, 1961. And they found one skeleton. Uh, looks like it was our captain of the owner of the harbor, something like that. So, Vaza Museum.